Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can count the number of items that appear on multiple worksheets across a whole workbook with just one formula. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have four worksheets called first, second, third, and fourth, plus a summary worksheet. And on each of the first four worksheets, I have a grid from A1 to E10 that has either the word help or OK in it. And on each one, I wrote a quick little count if formula to count the number of times the word help appears. So on the first worksheet, you can see it appears six times. On the second worksheet, you can see it appears 13 times. The third is 15 and the fourth is two. And that adds up to 36 times across those four worksheets that the word help appears. So on my summary worksheet, I just wrote a simple little formula that says equals sum first worksheet through the fourth worksheet, exclamation point A12, and adds those up and I get 36. But that took multiple steps. And if you have a lot other worksheets and bigger ranges and such, that could be a little cumbersome. So the question is, how can we accomplish that just with one single formula? So to do that, we're going to use these three functions. The sum product function, which returns the sum of the products of corresponding ranges or arrays. Basically, it's going to add up the various blocks of, of counts that we come up with for the four worksheets. And we're going to count using the count if function, which counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition, in this case, which ones have the word help. And then we're going to use the indirect function, which returns the reference specified by a text string. Basically, that takes a text string that we're going to create and converts it into a usable range that a formula can use to perform some functions, etc. with. By the way, I do want to mention that I learned this process from Dave Bruns, who runs the Excel Jet website. And I'll put a link to the actual uh, website or the URL that uh, where I found how to do this process. So I do want to give credit to him uh, for coming up with this method to do this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and type the formula. Then we're going to walk through it so you can see how the process works. But the first thing we need to do is I need to create a list of the names of our four worksheets that we're using here, first, second, third, and fourth. And then I need to name that range. In this case, I named it sheets because we're going to use that reference within our formula. So let's go ahead and type in the formula. I'm going to say equals sum product. And then I'm going to use the count if function. And to create the range for my count if function, I'm going to use the indirect function to do that. And what I'm going to enter into the indirect function is a series of text items that are concatenated with the ampersand. Now, whenever you enter something with text, you have to put it in double quotes and then Excel using the indirect function will take those individual text items, concatenate them together, and then convert that to a usable string that can be used in the count if formula. So the first thing I'm going to concatenate using double quotes is actually a single quote. So I'm putting a single quote within double quotes, and then I'm concatenating that with sheets, which is the name of my range, concatenate that with Again, in double quotes, a single quote and an exclamation point, and then I'm going to close that, and then concatenate that with, in double quotes, my range A1 to E10, close that off, and I'm going to close that. So that's going to be the range that my indirect function is going to convert to a usable item for my count if function. I'll have comma, and then the criteria for my count if function is actually in cell A9, which is where I have the word help typed. I'm going to close that for my count if function, close it for my sum product, 
hit enter and I get my answer 36. Now again, what's happening here is the indirect function is taking these items that I've concatenated them and converting them to useful items for my COUNTIF function. So if I highlight this range here and I hit F9, you can see what it's converted that to is first exclamation point, which is the name of my first worksheet, range A1 to E10, and then second, third, fourth, etc. So if I highlight that array and hit F9, you'll see some product is going to add up 6, 13, 15, and 2, which is the count of the word help on each one of those worksheets. And again, if I change this, remember I had the word OK in the other cells. If I typed OK here, now it counted that as 164 items in that. So here is, again, just a bigger breakdown so you can see what I concatenated here. A single quote, the word sheets, which is the range I had for the name of my four worksheets, a single quote exclamation point, and my range A1 to E10, and together the indirect function converted that to that range for each one of my worksheets. And then using some product and count if it counted up those items and then added them together with some product and I got the values that we have here, 36 for help or 164 for okay. And that is how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Exceling.